I always want to give you some example from practice and today how does Brexit affect the bicycle industry? Since the beginning of the year the United Kingdom is no longer part of the EU internal market and the European Customs Union. The first effects can already be felt. But why are prices rising now? It was announced for a long time but now Brexit has arrived and those who thought it was a good idea should now be more and more aware that the effects are not particularly positive. Products from most British bike companies are likely to be significantly less interesting for customers from the EU because they are significantly more expensive. The situation will also affect continental European manufacturers and shops that have previously sold a lot to Great Britain. But at least, as is well known, there is an opportunity in the crisis. It will be interesting to see which bike companies will benefit from the changed starting position. The United Kingdom left the EU on January 1st, 2020. After almost a year of transition, Great Britain and Northern Ireland are no longer part of the EU internal market and the European Customs Union. Before that, the European Union and the United Kingdom had been negotiating a free trade agreement that would regulate future economic relations for around four years. This free trade agreement was passed on December 24th and has been in force since January 1st. It is unclear how this free trade agreement will affect economic relations between the EU and the UK in the long term. However, the first tendencies also with regard to the effects on the bicycle industry can already be foreseen. The prices of British products will for the most part rise significantly and availability will likely be made more difficult. Among other things, the free trade agreement regulates the tariff-free movement of goods between products from Europe and products from the United Kingdom. For example, in Germany you should still be able to buy products that come from England without problems or additional customs fees. The crux of the matter is when a product is considered to be or when is a product considered to be from Europe or the UK? The answer to this question is likely to play a decisive role in the future and will make a decisive contribution to possible price increases. I have some examples there from MTB News. Example one is a stem from a British company is milled on site in the UK and then sold to Germany. And this example is relatively simple. The product is made in the UK. In this case, the tariff-free movement of goods is regulated by the free trade agreement. There is no price increase because of that. There are other customs duties, but not because of tariffs. An example two, a fully frame that is produced in Germany is fitted with a damper that is not made in the EU and then sold to England. It gets a bit more complicated here because the frame, but not the damper, comes from the EU. However, since a significant part of the product comes from the EU, there are no additional tariffs here either. There is no price increase because of tariffs. And the third example, a complete bike from a British company is to be sold to Germany. The final assembly of the complete bike takes place in Great Britain. However, almost all components and the frame are produced in Asia. As a result, the origin of the complete bike is not in the United Kingdom. So additional tariffs apply and there is a price increase because of tariffs. The origin of goods is therefore relevant for answering the question of whether price, prices change because of tariffs or not. If this is at least predominantly in the United Kingdom or in the EU, then tariff-free trade is possible. Often, however, the products are not manufactured locally, but in Asia. So there is often a constellation, as in the third example. In this case, an additional customs fee of around 15% will apply. One can therefore assume that many products from British companies have either already become significantly more expensive or will be increased in price in the coming weeks. 
regardless of any price increases due to the corona pandemic. The Northern Irish company Nukeproof has announced a general price increase via Facebook and justified this with the customs duties. A look at the prices of the recently introduced Nukeproof Giga makes it clear. The Classy factory version has a recommended retail price of 6,999 euros in Europe. In the UK, this is 5,499 pounds, which is the equivalent of around 6,200 euros. In Germany, the new Giga is about 13% more expensive than in Great Britain. In addition, Nukeproof has to raise prices in general. Kotick also felt the effects of Brexit and the new free trade agreement. The small brand from Sheffield offers various frames and complete bikes. On January 1st, Kotick temporarily completed, completely stopped sales in the EU, but is now resumed. For Kotick, the situation was initially very unclear. The frames are designed and produced in Great Britain. However, small parts also come from Taiwan. The frames are then assembled in the UK. The origin of the goods was initially not clear, so that Kotick temporarily stopped sales in the EU. In the meantime, Kotick has published an updated statement. Kotick points out that these rules only apply to its own products and cannot necessarily be transferred to other bike manufacturers from Great Britain. And the main changes are, because the dampers that are not made in the UK are very expensive, clear regulation is complicated. There are no additional tariffs on frames that Kotick produces in the UK when they are sold in the EU. Regardless of the damper and smaller parts, such uh, as the tax rate, even if they are from, from uh, Asia, frames produced by Kotick in Taiwan are subject to an import duty of around 5% and handling fees. Kotick assumes that uh, beefy, uh, beefy max frame, which is previously around 600 uh, euros, will be around 40 to 50 euros more expensive. This corresponds to a price increase of almost 10% overall. There is an additional customs fee of 14% on all complete bikes. This makes complete bikes from Kotick around 350 to 600 euros more expensive in Germany. From the EU, who order directly from Kotick initially pay um, the price without tax. The local tax, that means the 19% VAT in Germany, as well as the customs fees are then due upon delivery. In recent years, the British brand Vitus has caused a sensation with value for money hits, such as the Escarp or the Mythic. The affordable complete bikes are available directly from the Wiggle or Chain Reaction online shops. Or for customers from Germany, they were until December 31st. At the moment, uh, you simply cannot order bikes from Germany and other EU countries. Uh, Euro price is also not displayed on the websites. When Vitus bikes are sold back to Germany, however, you have to expect a hefty price increase. The same applies here. The origin of the goods is outside the United Kingdom. So additional tariffs are due when sold to the EU. But when will Vitus even sell to the EU again? An official statement has not yet been made. This question has come up several times on social media. And Vitus' answer to this is, we will provide an update very soon when our retail partners will be selling back into the EU, wrote Vitus Bikes. Since this announcement almost two weeks ago, nothing has happened so far. How exactly it will continue is currently very uncertain. The situation is similar with uh, Superstar components. The supplier of inexpensive components has currently stopped all sales in the EU. The Lincoln-based company hopes that the situation will clear up soon and that uh, sales in the EU can be resumed. Due to the complications of the Brexit deal, we are unable to ship items to Europe. We are hoping the situation will be clarified over the next few weeks and will update as we know more, wrote Superstar Components. Similar to Vitus, Privateer also received a lot of attention last year 
thanks to exciting bikes with an outstanding price performance ratio. In a test by Mountain Bike News, the Trail Bike 141 was more than convincing. Among other things, the strong price performance ratio was mentioned as one of the big pluses. In general, the demand for bikes from privateer is huge. If you currently want to order a 141, you have to expect a delivery in October 2021. The price increase is just as painful, however. The model, which was available for 3,489 euros last year, now costs a whopping 3,979 euros for customers from continental Europe. That's a price increase of almost 500 euros and that's around 15%. Privateer has not published an official statement on the price changes due to Brexit. However, it can be assumed that the additional customs fees of 14% will be passed on to European customers. After all, Privateer has so far waived an additional price increase. Unlike Kotick, the customs duties are not due on delivery, but paid directly to Privateer during the payment process. But how does it look in the opposite direction? Again, the situation is complicated. Various online shops and bicycle manufacturers based in Europe have already announced that they will no longer sell in the United Kingdom in the future. For example, orders from the UK are currently not possible from the German online retailers uh, Bike Discount DE or Bike Components DE. The same applies to Rose Bikes. Since December 20th, no more orders from the United Kingdom have been processed. One hopes, however, that the situation can be resolved in the future. Kenyon has also temporarily banned orders from the UK. However, since January 16th, customers from the UK have been able to order regularly via the Kenyon website. The customs fees are processed directly by Kenyon, so that as a British customer you don't have to worry about customs fees. However, e-bikes are an exception. Because the battery is classified as dangerous goods, the Koblenz-based company cannot currently send e-mountain bikes to Great Britain. In addition, no solution has yet been found for sales to Northern Ireland. So far it has been easy to order new bikes, components, clothes and accessories from British online shops. The prices were often cheap, the shipments only took a few days and the products were delivered directly to your door like practically any other package without the annoying customs clearance or the or stuff like that. The situation was completely different with orders from the USA for example. An order from North America was hardly worth it financially due to the import fees. In addition, the packages were often not delivered to your home. Instead, you had to wait for a message from customs that you could pick up the packages there, but only after an inspection by the customs officer. That slowed the whole process down a lot. So from now on will orders from the UK be the same as um, orders from the USA? It's hard to say right now. How does it look if you want to order from well-known shops such as Chain Reaction Cycles or Wiggle? That is currently still unclear. In general, the rule is most products can still be ordered. Chain Reaction, for example, directly indicates all prices, including German VAT. This suggests that you don't have to take care of customs clearance yourself and that the parcels are delivered to your front door. However, the web shop also points out that local taxes and customs duties may very well apply and you should contact the local customs office beforehand if you need further information. Does the free trade agreement in its current form mean that soon you will not be able to buy a product from companies in the UK and Germany? This is unlikely to be the case. However, significant price increases must be expected and they are already due. Regardless of price increases due to the corona pandemic, which have already been announced by various manufacturers. Orders 
from England, Scotland and so on will therefore be a much more expensive pleasure in the future. It's also clear that there is currently a lot of confusion. The legal and economic situation for companies from the United Kingdom that sell to the EU and vice versa is in some cases still very opaque. It will take some time for the processes to level off here. However, the Kenyan and Kodik examples show that solutions can be found over time. Whether such solutions also make financial sense is another question. An additional import fee of 15% quickly turns a price performance hit into a bike that is no longer that attractive in terms of price. Aspects such as service and warranty are also likely to deter potential customers in the future. And if you want to stay informed, please subscribe to my channel and to my other channels. I'll see you in my next video. Auf Wiedersehen.